Man, look at that, dude. That turned out absolutely amazing. Even got, what, what's one of those things called right there? Laser beam, dude. Dang. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are here at the new Goon Squad headquarters. And as you guys seen in the previous video, we made some major progress on the exterior of this house. We had the concrete guys out here pouring some slabs and they got this whole entire backyard knocked out and even the front yard where we poured a little patio area. They got it stamped and all, but you know what? It is not 100% done. They still got to pressure wash everything and seal it. Then it's going to look even better. So we can't wait to get to that. But what we're going to start working on is actually the interior of this house because we do got a bunch of things that we do got to finish up. We got to pick out some flooring. We got cabinets on the way. We got trim on the Way, and we even got to do some tile work and you do got to go in steps and what we're gonna get started with is actually the tile work in the master bathroom so let's just go ahead and set up the heater in the house because it is super cold today and set up all of our tools and equipment and just go ahead and just get straight to work Alrighty guys, so check this out. We are getting set up here. We brought in a bunch of stuff, even some treated wood, right? Yeah, we can grab some treated wood. That way we can go ahead and actually make like a little border for our shower. That way the water, you know, doesn't go out. Exactly, I think it's called like the shower bed boundary or ledge or something. Yeah, it's just where the doors, like our glass shower doors are gonna be. But anyways, dude, we got this little uh, table saw right here, a wet saw, tile saw, whatever you wanna call it, set up. This is the cheapest one we found at the Home Depot. We just grabbed it in a split second. You know what I noticed about the box? It was super dark. Dusty, dude. Dude, when you see dust on a box, don't buy it. So we learned the hard way because we tried to cut this one piece of tile off here and dude, it broke at the end and it like kind of like chipped the edge up a little bit. Yeah, that's not too good. And on top of that, this right here, whatever you call this, is like so hard to get level. As you can tell, it's like- Yeah, it's supposed to kind of move like simultaneously, kind of like our table saw that we were using. Yeah, you know what I mean? so that is weird. But you know, I guess we're gonna try to keep going with it. We may end up buying another one, dude. Yeah, we may end up buying it, just getting pops to run down the mountain, maybe pick up another one but for now we're gonna go ahead and actually uh throw down our cement board and all that good stuff let's yep. go up in here real quick let's hop in here and show you guys what exactly we're gonna do before we actually throw our cement board we're probably gonna build that little border right yeah we're gonna go ahead and do that border right here out of those treated two by fours and then the reason why we got some two by sixes is because we're gonna have to build a border of two by sixes up against each one of these studs right here that way we can staple our what's tarp, it i think it's like a waterproofing tarp or something like that yeah it's it's that way we can waterproof liner, everything. Yeah, liner. liner so, liner, yeah. Yes, yeah, Pops are, knows yeah. what he's talking about there. Yeah, they, <laughs> while, while they uh, were at the work of his um, other son, he, his uh, other house, put in line in there. He did the liner at the at the house back at the home. Back at, back <laughs> at the day. But and we got some of these things right here. This is for our toilets. We will probably end up just putting these in later after the tile goes down. So yes, we're sir. not too worried about this just yet. We got some silicone as well for our drain and all that good stuff. But I, I mean it's time to go, dude. Yeah, we're ready to go. Let's go ahead and throw some two by fours down, throw our cement board and start laying some tile out.
Oh, this sucker is pretty sick. Dude, so we got a lot of work done. We're about to show you guys what we got done, but mom already pulled up with some lunch, and we're gonna eat right quick, ain't we? Oh yeah, dude, we got some spaghetti and meatballs Ooh. and shrimp right here, man. I've seen you came up with some sort of concoction with the Doritos. With the Doritos, the shrimp, and some of that marinara sauce, or uh, Alfredo sauce, man, it is fire, man. <laughs> <laughs> but another thing is about this camper right here, Pops actually went ahead and set up the, yeah, wired it up, Yeah, right? completely wired it up to our temporary pole so we got a, a rv connection so we can have this thing now we got a fireplace going we got the heat and ac working we got the fridge working no i mean way. we got everything working dude that's sick dude we may have to buy this sucker it's actually pretty it's a lot cooler than i expected dude yeah, dude it's a pretty cool unit right here all we're missing is just a tv and we're good to go man well, flat screen and also we need to set that sucker up by the super bowl right there yeah you gotta have that super bowl i mean this thing got so that that couch right there is a fold-out sleeper and i believe this thing can turn into a bed as well Dude. And it has a king size bed in dude, here, dude. King size bed with a couch back there, and man, this is all you need. Dude. Honestly, we don't even need to finish the house. We just chill on this thing, dude. dude. <laughs> <laughs> Might just do that. No, we're definitely gonna finish the house. We are moving right along, actually. So. Oh yeah, dude. I can't wait to get that tile done. Dude. Yeah. So right now we're actually working on the concrete board, or yeah. what is it called? The cement board. Cement board, and we're about to knock that out, and we're about to start slapping some tile down. Oh yeah. Let's eat right quick. Let's go ahead and eat. All right, so back inside the house here, we're gonna quickly go over what we got done. We went ahead and formed that ledge right there out of three two by fours right there. It's all treated that way, it doesn't rot away. And we even formed a border between all those studs that's treated wood as well, that way none of this stuff rots. That's how you're supposed to do it. And that sucker is basically ready for that liner, but we're gonna focus on that last. What we wanna focus on is actually the bathroom floor right here. And all we gotta do is install some cement board, cut it to spec, and then after that, I think we'll be ready for some tile. Alrighty guys, so check this out. We are just moving right along. We got all of our cement board down, screwed down, and we went ahead and threw a waterproof membrane on this thing. This is called Red Guard. I don't know if you necessarily have to throw it on a shower floor or on a bathroom floor, but we just went ahead and did it. You know, it's better to be safe than sorry, honestly. Exactly, because this is going to be a steam room, right? Steam yeah, room it's going to be a steam, steam room shower, and I mean, you do kind of get water every time you get out of the shower, so hey, this is a, just an extra precaution. You know yeah, we I mean? just took the extra step there. And I think I think we won't regret that to be honest oh, yeah. with you. But anyways, you were already laying some tile down, dude. Well, we're actually just laying down that way we can get a feel for what we're gonna be working with, what kind of actual uh, pattern we're gonna do. Not necessarily the pattern of the tile, but the pattern of how our tile is gonna be laid out. Dude. Yeah, basically like the type of cuts that we're gonna get. Yes. So we don't want to have like super thin strip. We want to kind of make everything flow properly, right? Oh yeah, you don't want to just start your one piece of tile here and just work your way back because you might even end up with like a super thin strip. You always want to lay it out just to see what we're working with because as of right now as you can tell we got a full piece here and then it moves all the way down to here and we're left with like a three inch two inch strip 
and uh, we're gonna have to probably even that out or what I'm thinking is we do a full piece on that wall and actually do the three inch strip to here because there is gonna be a toilet here, a vanity cabinet and all that stuff yeah. you won't really see. Exactly, it. yeah, that stuff is gonna be all covered up and same for this side. So if we put a full tile over here, uh, we're we, probably gonna do full tile there and do a cut on this side, what yeah, do you think? Yeah, because we're really close. As you can tell, we're almost like a quarter inch off, so that's not gonna be something that's very noticeable. So we'll just end up just cutting that side right there and it's all gonna flow just Another thing is over here at the doorway, should we put a full piece of tile right there or should we just go ahead and put it right here, dude? I think we should probably do the full piece of tile towards the wall because that's gonna actually uh, be better on the interior because then we'll just do like a three inch strip along the doorway. Yeah, that way yeah. it kind of looks like a doorway, you know what I mean? Th this right here is all mainly personal yeah, preference. personal preference. I mean, if you wanted to, you can start from a corner and just work your way back, but then, like I said, you might end up with like a super hairline strip and you never want to do that. Yes, know? sir, dude. So we, we got the mortar ready to go. We got the stuff that's ready to go, right? <laughs> yeah, we got the ready to go stuff. We're just gonna slap it on there and just start slapping this tile on here, dude. And the final piece, dude. With two pieces to spare, man. Man, look at that, dude. That turned out absolutely amazing, dude. Everything is just perfect, dude. It looks really good. I didn't know it looked this good because whenever we looked at it at Home Depot, it was just like four squares. This right here, looking at the whole floor, it looks way better, dude. dude. Looks super sick. And then there's gonna be that all white shower, right? It's gonna be all white? Yeah, all white shower and the all white bathroom. Man, dude, I just can't wait to actually get onto the shower now, dude, man. Dude, I'm saying, I gotta say, dude, I enjoy tile, to be honest with yeah, you, dude. Yeah, tile's a lot of work. It is a little bit tedious trying to get it all straight. I know there's better methods to get this straight. I know there's like this kind of system that you like pop like stuff in it and it keeps it all straight. We may end up using that later on, it's just whenever we're trying to buy it, they didn't have the exact size gappage that we wanted, dude. Yeah, exactly. And there's like laser beams you can buy and stuff like dude, that. There's all sorts of stuff, but heck, dude, this nice. this shower right here for what we did, dude, that is just awesome, man. Let me hop in here right quick. Check that dude. out, man. Man, that just looks, dude. That looks kind of cool. That looks super cool, dude. I know, dude. I've never seen tile like that ever before, like anywhere. So this is the first time I've ever seen something like this type of design. You know, you what see I mean? this stuff like in high-end hotels and stuff, and on Pinterest and stuff like. That. Hey, that, that's where my wife probably got it off of, probably <laughs> Pinterest or something like that. But, dude, that turned out amazing. I can't wait to do the rest of the bathrooms because all the other bathrooms are going to have their own unique style, dude. Yeah, definitely. We're probably going to – I can't wait to pick out the tile for that other bathroom, dude, that's going to be legit. We got a few cool ideas in mind. We've seen some. So, I mean, just just getting that knocked out just gives us a bigger understanding on how we're going to do the rest of the stuff. Dude, dude, look at all the gaps. The gaps are perfect. We got this lined up perfectly. We got everything leveled. Dude, it just – you, I remember last time we did tile, it didn't turn out as perfect as this, but I know. we took our time with this. Yeah, we took our time, and I'm glad we did that first, you know, uh, row where we, where we actually looked at how the tile was gonna go, because look at that. That's one full piece against the shower, and basically one full piece against this row, and it almost made a one full piece against that row. So, dude, I mean, it, came, awesome. it couldn't have came out any better than that. So dude. the next step to this is letting it fully dry like one day, and then I think you could do grout, or actually we'll probably jump and do the shower yeah, bed over um, there, right? We'll probably, yeah, we'll probably do the shower bed, and, uh, and then after that we'll probably end up grouting it, or I don't know, maybe they leave grout until you're completely done with like doing everything. That way that's the last finishing touch. Yeah, I, I mean? think so too. Yeah, we'll definitely look into that. We'll talk to our contractor, but other than that, super 
we're happy with the results. Let us know what you guys think of that 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 design, that print. And I think personally it looks pretty cool, but you know what? I mean, there's other opinions out there. But we are doing other tile and other bathrooms, so do not worry, man. <laughs> yes, sir. So I mean, it's pretty late right now. I mean, and we got a huge mess. Are we gonna clean this all up right now? Dude, I don't know. We may have to just leave this how it is. That way, whenever we come back, we just get right back to work. But it is super dark, super late, but we got that knocked out. So we'll catch you guys tomorrow in the morning. Alrighty guys, so it is actually the next day here and we ran by the Home Depot this morning to pick out some brand new tile for the next bathroom that we're gonna be working on. And while we were at it, we actually decided to pick up a brand new tile saw here because that other one right there was actually doing some uh, crooked cuts, some rough cuts, and also that sucker was bogging down. But this one right here is much higher RPMs. That one over there is only three fourths of a horsepower, dude. Dude, this thing right here is just gonna wind up and just make some nice clean cuts. Heck, that dang, dude, that thing even has a roller on it. That way you can just never get a crooked cut. Even got, what, what's one of those things called right there? Laser beam, dude. Dang, dude, that is legit right there. That is super cool. And the reason why we went ahead and bought a better one, and that is because we are gonna be doing a bunch more tile work. We may even do the whole entire downstairs in tile. And plus we're gonna be doing some more precision cuts in the showers and stuff like that. So we need some clean cuts. Oh dude. yeah, we need some clean cuts. And I think the shower tile, uh, if we're gonna be doing the little pieces, we need to cut those suckers straight thinner, because yep. yeah, they will crack and stuff like that. But dude, what kind of tile did we get, Come man? Come me, dude, check this out. We got the hexagonal dude. style right here. Look how cool that looks, dude. We got four pieces laid out over here. Dude, these suckers are legit. And I seen that they're the exact same brand as the other tile that we did dude. yeah it's some high quality stuff but since we're doing such small areas we went ahead and just paid a little bit more just to get the better design right there and this is going to be a little bit more technical but you know what we might as well step it up a notch dude, dude we just jumped up from level one to level 10 dude that's what i'm saying <laughs> it shouldn't be too difficult i think we'll figure that out no problem but and we, we got some special stuff for the for the tile spacers and stuff like oh, that yeah that way it all levels out properly i can't wait to actually put that to the test and we're learning as we're going of course instead of using this mortar right here we're going to use some better stuff because this right here is pretty mixed stuff it actually didn't dry in that bathroom over there yeah so. it's still wet the one of the tiles still moves around which is crazy but it does dry in what like 24 hours 24 to 72 hours so i guess uh, we'll find out if we screwed up or not in that amount of time but pops actually ran down the mountain and picked up some better mortar i think it's going to dry in like a couple of yeah, hours yeah the stuff dude. that you actually have to mix with water you know the legit yeah. stuff dude so i guess as of right now we're probably going to go ahead and get started in the next bathroom form out that little border for the shower and then lay down some cement board So check this out guys we are basically ready for some mortar and some tile and of course you can see that we added that red guard that uh, waterproof membrane because you know we just had it so might as well just go ahead and do it and it's already dry 
But as you can tell, we got our tile laid out and we are just trying to figure out the exact pattern we're gonna do in here. It's definitely a more technical piece of tile because of the shape of it, but I think we got a pretty good understanding of what we're gonna do here. Exactly, yeah, we figured out what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and cut out, cut off one of those triangles right there, right? Yeah, we're just gonna cut a line to this edge to this edge and just put it up against the wall and all the way up against the shower wall and just basically work our way up. Dude. Same concept as in the other bathroom, basically no thin cuts, no thin uh, rips or whatever you yeah, call it, you know what I mean? They're all gonna be pretty big pieces i mean but we're looking pretty good honestly dude i'm actually excited about this tile it's going to give us a little bit uh, bigger of a challenge but it's going to turn out amazing definitely dude. and here soon after we get this stuff knocked out i was hoping to get it knocked out in this video but we kind of ran out of time we're going to start moving dude, on to showers the showers dude. are going to be crazy the flooring is already super epic but imagine designing the showers that's going to be dude. even more epic dude. dude i can't wait for all that but i guess that'll probably be in the next video right yeah, we're running out of time we got to get this uh video out to you guys and we're going to have to jump right back in here and just start smacking out some tile but guys that is pretty much going to be a wrap for today's video unfortunately we didn't get to use our brand new tile saw but you're definitely going to see this sucker rip in the next video so make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything and also also, if you want an inside scoop before YouTube, definitely give us a follow on Instagram at Goon Squad. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace.